All right, for educational purposes, what is undercoating? Undercoating generally used to refer to using a paint style coating on vehicles. Many years ago, farmers and people started using wax and oil, old engine oil underneath vehicles to stop rust. This is a newer Dodge Ram in, and you can see this is almost brand new off the showroom floor. You can see the rust that starts to develop on stuff. This has been sprayed with wool wax on this side and nothing on this side. So you can do a little side-by-side -side comparison here. And wool wax comes in what they call tan or clear, and also in what they call black color. You can buy it in a can. You can get it in a five-gallon bucket. You can order about a 55-gallon drop if you wanted to. The spray guns, it's super easy. You can buy the conventional gun, I want to call it. I'm not sure what they refer to it as anymore. Then the Supreme, I believe this one's called, and then I believe Supreme Plus is what this one is. I use a Lemmer 460. Woolwax used to sell Lemmer products. Lemmer products are very expensive. You don't need a Lemmer. You can do just as good with one of these as you can one of these, but... Everybody has that thing they're into. I'm into spray guns. Some guys collect guns. Some guys collect different things. But I am just a, a, a spray gun junkie, shall we call it, when it comes to, to different equipment. I like to play with different stuff. And this gun is just about the same as this gun. The average guy couldn't tell the difference. But, you know, Ford versus Chevy, shall we say. Uh, let's get back and talk about the product. It's going to be about like shampoo. When you touch it and look at it, it's going to be tacky. This stuff is warm. It's a hot summer day here. It's going to feel like shampoo. It's going to stay that way and creep and migrate and constantly uh, penetrate into rust for a, a long time. It doesn't last forever. It's not going to last 10 years. It's not going to probably last five years. However, doing this one time is going to put you way ahead of somebody that never does it. You don't have to come back every year and do it. Maybe every two years. Your initial coating is going to be the most expensive because we get in every nook and cranny and void. And we'll walk around this vehicle here. And on this one, you can see we pull these plugs out of the rocker cavities. We're going to spray inside here. There's rocker cavity plugs inside here. This side's been sprayed already. And as you can tell, it looks nice. We try to do a detailed job when we go around and not hog everything up. We'll just walk around this vehicle real quick. And in case you, you do it yourself or you want to get involved in this stuff, there's the uh, the kettles you can use to, to warm it up. It sprays a little nice when it's warmer. And again, you don't have to. I'll just walk around this one. And there's a frame that wasn't done. You can see the rust starting on this that's about it folks i don't know what else to, to tell you about it other than the biggest question we get is you know how long does it last it, that's so hard to answer but this truck we, we're doing this truck now it's it's june uh he might bring it back next june he might wait two years he might wait three years but the important part is we got in this one inside those little holes up there and those little crevices right there, the corrugated part, that's, there's spot walls on each one of them holding this bed on. That's where I start to rust at. And up inside this wheel well, we actually spray with a wand way up inside there. So it's going to run down the inside of that fender and lay in that wheel well inside there and keep that from rotting out. The stuff works great. What else could we talk about with this real quick? I'm just going to do a real quick walk around of what was hit and what wasn't. You can see here. It wasn't done yet. And this stuff works really good because when a mechanic, some people might say that their mechanic doesn't like working on it. But if this came in years later and you had to take something apart to get apart, these bolts are going to come out. They're not going to seize off and be stuck inside things and break off. And then you, you, you can't be a complete idiot when you do this. We'll spray from the frame rails out. We didn't do this side yet, but we're going to do it from the frame rail. Underneath here with the, above the transmission, this stuff doesn't rot out. And we, we're not going to spray right above here, and we're, we don't spray transfer cases. Some guys advertise online, they're spraying transfer cases, and it, it, for our competitors, it looks like crap. It's not going to run out. Don't spray that. It's a disaster if you had to work on it. But here's some other stuff. We try and keep it clean. You know, so if you have to change a U joint, you're good to go. Ball joints and stuff like that, you can get out there too. We only spray out there so far. We gotta, we'll got we clean those shocks up then when we're done here. But it does a really good job. It's fogged right now inside these frame rails very well we don't do it too thick inside the frame rail to where it just builds it up and just lays in there in clumps we'll actually you know turn the air pressure way up and turn the wax down so that we can get a good mist inside the rails like i said if you want to get involved in doing it yourself guys you can buy spray guns most people we do it so cheap that if they was to buy a spray kit it's just not worth them for them to do it themselves but i'm not there's nothing wrong against doing it yourself at all that's all I can think of. We'll get this one the other side sprayed. We're going to get tan on the bottom of the body on the inside, and then we'll do the rocker plugs and 
get this one back to this guy. We do, we put bags over the wheels. I don't have them one for this video purpose. Um, it, the wind moves a little bit in here and the bag moves and it makes a heck of a noise. That's all I can think of, that's that. This is Troops Auto. We the small car lot on 61 there in, in Stonington area, or Pack Sinus area it's actually called. It was a call, 716-9733.